hey, it's been a while, but we're about to jump on to an Air Canada flight from Toronto to Nashville, Tennessee. So we've got a lot of loose plans, some firm plans, including some professional bull riding, dinner at the Nashville Hard Rock Cafe. And for those of you that know us well, of course, we have our little uh, Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt addiction. So we'll solve that. Anyways, lots of excitement ahead. We're gonna jump on the plane now and we'll check back in with you when we hit Nashville. the pedestrian bridge it's just over a kilometer each way and it's absolutely beautiful check out that skyline view so day one unbelievable music 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 uh, we ended our evening actually having a drink at Kid Rock's bar. Um, I can honestly say I've never been in a bar with music that loud. The band was pretty darn cool. Um, amazing how many bars actually had people inviting us in the open windows while we were listening to music from Broadway. Um, so today we're gonna go up to the Parthenon and uh, spend the majority of the day in Music Row. Um, it's just a little bit more central for us from here in the Gulch. Um, quick point about the Gulch, uh, this area used to be the train yards and that's where the name comes from. And in the recent past, uh, this area has been rejuvenated um, and it's actually a LEED certified community, which is kind of cool because I'd never noticed uh, a LEED certified community before. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the videos of today's adventures. Oh, and to end the day today, we're going to the Bridgestone Center to see professional bull riding team competition. So we're interested to learn about that. Anyways, enjoy the rest of this Dirt Road Traveler video. So one thing nobody seems to talk about with Nashville is Centennial Park. It's south of the main drag of Broadway uh, and sort of across the road from Vanderbilt University. Um, and it has this beautiful Parthenon. It was originally built for the World's Fair in 1897. And inside, as you'll see here, is the beautiful statue of Athena. Unbelievable. And, you know, the relics and things inside are really actually worth the price of admission. And on a hot day like today, the air conditioning was worth the price of admission. Hope you're enjoying this video. We got a couple days left here in Nashville and we're going to share as much as we can, including bull riding later. 
Uh, if you're enjoying the video and enjoying the work that Dirt Road Traveler is doing, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Uh, it tells YouTube that we're doing good stuff. You'll get notifications when we post new videos. Anyways, keep enjoying the video and thanks for watching. One thing that we have discovered is that Nashville has its burger game way up there on the scale of burger quality. Nashville is the bomb for the burger. What do you think, Sin? Pretty good. Pretty good. So uh, you gotta stop and have a look when you see the World Cornhole Championships or whatever the Cornhole Championships they are going on on a side screen in the Gulch. So you gotta get yourself to the Gulch to the Nashville Sunday Club the Elvis is a whiskey-infused chocolate milkshake. And on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 356. <laughs> this is friggin' good. Mm-hmm. So good. One thing that there are a lot of here in Nashville are party wagons and party buses. And just like this, you see them everywhere. Every couple minutes, one goes by. Shania going on here. They're everywhere. From buses to trailers, lots and lots of them. Smashville. And now we're getting ready to go into the PBR event watch the Nashville Stampede against a whole bunch of other cities and have no idea what's going to happen, but uh, we're looking forward to it. So uh, stay tuned for some cool footage of some bulls doing some stuff. Hey, okay, we're here, and uh, this is nothing like what we expected. This is going to be amazing. Bull riding. Six teams, six bulls per team, 36 times that people are going to be, I don't know, fucked off or whatever, and uh, we're really excited. It's Slide Man from Cowtown, USA. This team for the PBR Team Series. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Lone Star State, these are the Texas Rattlers! So Nashville won their game. We really don't know what it means, but that was three hours of amazing, really cool bull snot flying, guys getting projected like crazy fun, but that was great. Anyways, that was it for our PBR event, and now we're gonna try to find out where we're going. Okay, bye. So this is Broadway at around 9.30 at night on a Saturday night.
guy's happy. Let's go. Very happy person. His happy other half. Absolutely great down here. Hey, so day three, it's Sunday here in Nashville. Um, today, we're going to focus on basically museums. Um, looking forward to the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. We're gonna check out the Johnny Cash and Patsy Cline Museums, um, and then sort of hang out in the um, Broadway area. Uh, tonight, we're going for dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, for those of you that know us, I have a bit of a Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt addiction. So going there to get the t-shirts um, and then dinner. Cool uh, little tidbit about here in the Gulch. We found two murals by a young lady named Kelsey Montague. The first one is these gorgeous wings that you see here with Cindy posing in front of. And then there's another one, looks like a road trip to Nashville. And we had some nice folks uh, take the camera away for us to have this photograph of Cindy and I together in front of it. So really, really impressed by the way with the people here in Nashville. There is a level of kindness and community and just everybody is uh, very welcoming and engaging and we really, really enjoy that. Anyways, we're gonna share what we can from the museums and that's what we've got planned for day three here in Nashville. Enjoy the rest of the video. So unfortunately, we're not gonna get a chance to tour you around the inside of the Ryman Auditorium. Uh, last time Cindy and I were here, we actually saw Martina McBride in concert at the Ryman Auditorium. And you know, it is an absolutely gorgeous, really, um, it's the church of country and bluegrass music. And you know, it, it's just a place that unfortunately, sadly, I can't describe beautifully from outside. But please, if you're coming down, make sure that you get a chance to see Bill Moore here and the Ryman Auditorium inside. I'll tell you, there's absolutely zero shortage of pedal wagons and party buses, like the party bus I showed you a little earlier. They're just nonstop all the time. Like I said, these things just never, ever stop. Well, it even turns out that to get guys to do this, they put them in an army truck. Okay, so our next stop before we go into the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum is the Assembly Food Hall. Let's see what it offers us. Okay, so there are literally dozens of different little food kiosks to choose from on multiple floors. Kind of cool. We're thinking we're going for chicken, so we'll sample that and give you a taste of that with us. Okay, so choice is made. We've decided on the Prince's Hot Chicken. I've got wings, Cindy has tenders, and uh, we're pretty excited about this. So, quick little comment about Nashville spicy hot chicken. Actually, I think they just call it hot chicken. At first, it doesn't feel like it's that hot. But then as you finish your first wing, the heat starts to sneak up on you. It sneaks up quick. Then when it sneaks up and gets to you, it's hot. And it's medium. And oh yeah, it's medium that we chose. And there were like four or five hots above medium. It's hot. So, highly recommend Nashville Hot Chicken. And you know what? Prince Hot Chicken, pretty damn good. Okay, they're playing Dead or Alive in the background. And I'm two and a half wings in. The flow down my neck across my forehead. I'm not sure whether I'm dead or alive right now. This chicken is sneaky hot. Oh, it's so good. 
My mouth doesn't hurt. Like, it really doesn't hurt. I'm just sweating like I'm running a marathon. This is brilliant. I love this. Oh, Nashville. Oh, Nashville. The gift that keeps giving. Oh, and by the way, um, check out this picture. Yeah, that's the ownership group of the Kansas City Outlaws. We met them while we were here. Um, they sort of, you know, we walked by and gave them a little smile. They smiled back and it's like, hey. And we had a great conversation. Cindy and I were with them for probably five, 10 minutes even. And uh, yeah, it was like the CEO, the CFO, the assistant CFO and the pilot of the Outlaws who were actually having their pregame drink before heading over to the Bridgestone for the one o'clock show today. So actually, and they're um, competing against Nashville today. They're expecting to get booed really loud. So that's really exciting. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. So we're gonna finish this off, try to recover, and then we will finally get over to the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. So check that out. Okay, so just quickly, this place is amazing. We are going to only be posting pictures from in here. So any highlight photos that come up are because we're not actually supposed to even be taking this video right now. ready to call this one a wrap. What a trip. Three nights in Nashville. So I wanted to summarize yesterday because we weren't able to really get any good photos in the Johnny Cash Museum. Um, I didn't know a lot about Johnny Cash, but now I do. And I'll tell you, that was time well spent. The assembly hall for food, uh, so many options. That Prince's hot chicken, man, I, I'm I think I had a nightmare about full body sweats last night. Then of course we enjoyed immensely our time in the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. We ended our day uh, just doing a little bit more bar hopping, enjoying some great bands. Uh, one of the girls that you saw in the video, uh, the last video actually before we got to this point, was actually from Ottawa, Canada. So that was kind of cool having a chat with her. We ended with our traditional visit to the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, by our combined estimation, we believe that was the 28th Hard Rock that Cindy and I have been to together uh, in the last 18 years. So that was pretty cool as well. Anyways, thank you again for watching this episode of Dirt Road Traveler. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you took the time to hit the subscribe button. We'd really love to share more adventures with you. Our next big adventure is in October, where we're going to spend seven days in Bordeaux, France. We're really looking forward to that. And we'll probably get in a couple little weekender trips between now and then. Anyways, thanks again for watching the Dirt Road Traveler.